was speaking to another another broker, and this is where you know, obviously, coming to conferences, you find that, and they gave a very a very important um, not an analogy, an actual factual story, and it was an agent who was a very high producer, and obviously, had got carried away with themselves, uh, and so they started diluting the Remax branding side of things, and. When it came to a particular buyer, someone who they had obviously thought that they'd established a relationship, the buyer didn't actually use their services at the end of the day. They actually went and used another agent's services uh, and transacted on a substantial property. And when the agent found out, they approached them to find out why they'd done that. And they said, well, you know, we've been faithful to Remax. We've always used Remax agents wherever we've purchased. And I'm afraid you're not a Remax agent. And he said, but I am. He said, but the material doesn't tell us that, so we weren't aware of it. So we were <laughs> they were faithful to the brand. And you know, in this day and age, customers and, and clients, uh, at the end of the day, are faithful to brands. One of my agents left me um, two years ago. He said, I don't need Remax. I sell properties because it's because of me. And I explained to him that outside it's, it's a different weather than inside the office and he didn't want to, to listen. So after three months that he left the office, he came back and uh, he wanted to return to his position in, in our company. Uh, I, I really like this guy, so I, I gave him the chance to come back, but I asked him only one question. What makes you come back? He said, well, you know, um, I worked outside without the logo, without the brand name Remax, and every time I went to try to list a property, I did everything I learned in Remax, with the same book, the same materials, but with my name. And after 30, 40 minutes, there was a Remax agent came after me and he always got the listings because it was Remax.